We're going to continue in our marriage series and talk about lust. For the past week, we talked about how commitment is so important. We talked about how pride can destroy a marriage. And now we need to talk about lust. Lust is something that we know deeply exists in our lives. And things are more prevalent than they were in biblical times. When King David saw Bathsheba bathing, she was naked. And that lust led to sin. But in our society today, Lust is staring at us every single day. Men and women. And if a married couple is not focused and putting attention in their marriage, they could fall victim to lust. And it is nonstop. It's something that can stay part of a marital relationship for a long time. A marriage must keep the purity of their relationship. They must be constantly reminded of why they got married and their love for one another. God put marriage in the hands of his creation. To have him as their foundation. The Bible mentions that what God has joined together, let not man separate. No one a no thing is supposed to come between this relationship. This perfect bond that God structured so many lives have been shattered. From lust. Babies have been created. Murders have taken place. Physical and verbal abuses. Mental and physical damage from the hands of lust. Paul wrote in the book of Thessalonians. He mentions that lust leads to sin and sin destroys. So while a person 
may pursue their lust. In the end, God is the judge. And we have seen many things that have turned out ugly from the hands of lust. So it only lasts for a short period of time. It's not permanent. One man, one woman in a marital relationship being committed to the end. That is what our creator has put into place. And when we go outside of his plan Things don't work out very well. Divorces. All sorts of things that are not good. Although that lust appeared good for the moment. King David, his life was forever changed. That short-term lust led to generations of problems. So we need to think carefully about who God is, And how we must live to please him. When we please ourselves, then we're not in the right relationship with the Lord. And not being in the right relationship leads to death. The time is right now to know who has full authority over your life. Who has the power over this earth and the heavens? Who would judge you on the final day of judgment? And who has everlasting life waiting for his followers? It is the Lord that we must follow. And through the Lord, we're connected with the Father. Time is right now to come to the Father and be prepared for the kingdom.